this video we're going to look at how to create a custom class list using Maya BC and Excel. I'm going to work in a school view, so this would be a secretary or administrator doing this. And I'm in a de-identified database, so none of this data is real. I'm going to use the filters to narrow down the group of kids I want to use for my, um, my custom list. Two ones you might want to use for an elementary school, you want to use homeroom equals and type in your homeroom number to narrow it down to the group of kids. Or for a secondary school, if you wanted to do a custom list, you'd probably want to use the one that is called course section equals. There is course section equals. You need to know what your course section is. I'm in an old production or an old training database here, so my numbers won't match current numbers. I'm going to look up this class at the high school. So we'll narrow it down to the 29 kids, if I'm right in this class. There you go. Perfect. I'm going to use this group of kids and I'm going to extract them using Quick Reports. Quick Reports gives me the option to do a CSV file. I hit CSV. This will export all those kids plus my field set for all the kids. I really only need the name. Open that up. Opens up Excel. I'm actually done with my EdBC now. I should uh, go there and log off. Go back to Excel. <clears throat> I need this group of kids. I don't need anything else, but if you wanted to do something custom, you can keep, say, their pupil number. Uh, I'm just going to delete everything else because I'm only interested in their name. I'm doing this on Office 2011 for Mac. It's always going to be different depending on your version of Office. Here's my list of names. I can change the height of row one because what I'm going to do next is uh, put in some lines and some diagonals for columns. From here, if I double click between A and B, it will resize it to the longest string inside of A. So I need that. Next thing that I'm going to do is create a couple columns up to G, and I'm going to fill in the lines using this tool. Say all borders. So this, these will be printable borders. These columns, I'm going to select now and pick diagonal up border. I also need to format these cells so they actually, the text will point diagonally too because right now if I put in some text it doesn't go diagonally so if I select them again right click format cells one of these options is, is it alignment? There's alignment You'll see something like this where you can change the angle of your text. You'll just need to play with it. I try 60 degrees. That one dropped off my uh, my line, so you'd have to poke around at that one, or not do the lines, just put text in there, or just not do text and leave the lines in there. Whichever one you prefer. So me taking the text out then just uh, leaves it quite pretty. From here, I could select it and hit File Print, or if you wanted to fill in something, you could fill in something, play around with these columns. These could just be verticals as well, so if I don't want it uh, on an angle, uh, go back to Format Cells, just there, change it this way so it's vertical text, hit Enter, and there's an option for you. Play around with the borders, these could just be left and right borders should be an option someplace in here again play around with it no border oh yeah left border only puts one over there again so play around with the border options and uh, from there you can go to your printer and when you are printing yeah, let's try that when you're printing um, every printer is a little bit different, but I'm going to hit File Print. If you see it saying I'm going to print this on seven different pages or four different pages, look for an option that says Scaling Fit One Page Wide, One Page Tall. So if you do this before you hit Print, um, it will fit it onto one page. And if you still have a hard time or the text looks terrible, you might want to look at resizing your columns and play with that before you hit Print. Every printer is a little bit different too in terms of their options, so you'll have to look through to find them. Sometimes it might be in layout, 
etc. So just look through the options on the printer before you hit print so you don't get four pages or 16 pages or something like that. You do want to scale it to one single page. From here, hit print. You can save this as well as an Excel file so you have it available to you for future use. So there is how you can use a filter, a quick report, and Excel to create a custom class list.